always lonely to stay somewhere quiet for a long time. Racing on the ground. In the future, I will be dashing in the sky. Faster than the wind, I am undoubtedly the fastest runner. Psst. Hey, hey, come over here. I have a secret to share. I am the legendary Dolly Arabia. Why are you laughing? Come on, this is not funny at all! Run, chase liberty. Now I am racing on the ground. In the future, I will be dashing in the sky. my beautiful muscles. I don't need to explain how fabulous I am. Hey, watch out! Rub me in the direction my mane grows. Run, chase liberty. Now I am racing on the ground. In the future, I will be dashing in the sky. Mass production! Oh my god! The great, great Darley Arabian is the one and only... Speak. <laughs> Just the time I expected. Be my guest. Ten people.
Snape! Interessante! Interessante! Anyone up for your seat, the senior? Hey! Police is number. Flying handbag oh, on 3,000 Kiridontis! Ciao, amore! Don't worry, you won't cry soon! Easy, boy. Don't cut me from the dry suit! Easy, easy, Porter. Ciao, amore! Go to hell! <laughs> the ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> Flying handbags are only 3,000 calories! The ocean dried and I'm alone again. Flying handbag of Police is number. I'll cut it on your face. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. Run! Chase Liberty! Now I am racing on the ground. In the future, I will be dashing in the sky! Offer me a bed with a soft mattress, goose down the bed, rabbit for a cover, delicate sewing patterns, and designer perfume spray. Psst. Hey! Hey, come over here! I have a secret to share. I am the legendary Dolly Arabia. Why are you laughing? Come on, this is not funny at all!
I really want to remain neutral. 5465616D776F726B. <laughs> I'm ready for now. That's right! Nice tactic! 5265616479. <laughs> Everyone has the same destination. Because. And what's your wish? Very well. The enemies don't seem to be in the habit of wearing gas masks. Mm -hmm. Please go on. Four one six six seven seven two seven nine. Oh my apologies. I'm so sorry. Inside. I'm in the right place. Go on. Cheer up. You're awake. Your family asked me to get here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will take you back. Mm -hmm. Just as planned. I'm missing. Five two six five six one six four seven nine. Umbrella and Ola. Oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. Four, six, nine, six, five. Four, seven, six, F, six, F, six, four. Just in song. Just as planned. Four, five, six, E, seven, four, six, five, seven, two. Huh. Step it up, everyone. Crime group. Hmm. Just to my likings. Can I not go on? Yes. Of course. Sadly, the these are counterfeits. Hara <sighs> Shoa. That's right! Nice tactic! A safe distance. Anyone feeling cold? Of service, my lady. Bravo! Sadly, these are counterfeits. Hmm. Intriguing, Arashua. This is one something that is a bullion. Just like real time. Time to wake up, gentlemen. Calm down. Hmm. Fragrance and dazzle can easily confuse one's vision. I'm sorry for you. Ni abdula bli shastya. Shastya Distance one's socialize. Time to go all out. It's just a 
Sekarang ni Service, my lady. That's right. Come on, this is the one punch. Just like real diamonds. Huh, like a lighter. Cheer and witness my victory. Lights, check. Width of the entrance, uh, checked. Support structure for the ceiling, um, checked. Camera parrot for broadcasting the games, <laughs> very fluffy, so, checked. Torch for the Uluru Flame, obstacles for steeplechase, tenacity of the branches and temperature of the red cloth. All right, checked. Only one more item to go before the flame lighting ceremony this midnight. <laughs> the Uluru Flame. with the tears. Did I make you sad again? No, nothing. I just have sand in my eyes. Our sand is common here. It gets into your eyes very easily. Just like when my granny saw me walking for the first time. Ah, young lady, you should have preserved the dignity of this old flame. <gasps> you burned! Burning hot and energetic. Checked. Safety factor of the field. Checked. The plus really did us a huge favor. Shame I haven't had the time to talk to Ezra since we had that fight. We were both busy and when we met it was... You haven't talked about it, but I didn't feel anything wrong between you two. We did make up, that's for sure. 
we never really talked about the fight. It's like you break your knee and just cover the wound up with trousers, as if it had never been there. You may feel fine when you jump and run, but it hurts whenever you sit down for a break. <sighs> I wonder if Ezra and Verdon are going well with the patrol. Relax, Flammy. It will be the opening ceremony tomorrow. Our checklist is even more intricately designed than a robe made with pine needles. Besides, the bunyips haven't turned up in quite a while. Everything is working like an unsinkable ship at sea. There isn't anything that may cause it to sink. All right. But the last ship that claimed to be unsinkable... Uh, what was it called? I bought tickets, let me in! I came all the way here just for the Uluru Games because you said that it is open to all for the first time! Everyone, please be patient! We are now standing at the entrance to the Uluru Stadium and this is where the rumored reincarnator will come with flames and bring about the rain. The rain will comfort the thirsty travelers and soothe their dry heels. I guarantee you, as the ambassador of the games, that no matter what your lineage is, you are welcome here as long as you have a ticket. All you need to do is wait patiently and with sincerity. Sincerity? We followed the guide and circled around the desert for a whole day! We need water and food. Some kids have become dehydrated. Yes! We need water! We need to get into the Uluru Stadium! You've promised us! We need water! We need to get into the Uluru Stadium! We need water! We need to get in the Uluru Stadium! That's right. Yes, that's right. Revival Squad, I'm sure you will enjoy this gift from me. We need water! We need to get to the Uluru Stadium! We need water! We need to get to the Uluru Stadium! invited so many outsiders to the game. How can they tell such a lie? He's whipping up public opinion, just his greatest strength. I took a glance at the crowd. There were at least 3,500 of them out there. Not a number Macau can incite alone. Some of them must be his accomplices. I'm sure they are good at mobilizing, swindling, blackmailing and stuff. It's the Eucalyptus Brotherhood. The leader is one of them. I know his face. <sighs> Darn. Seems like they're not going to make this easy for me since I took their tickets. And there's Makawa. Hmm, how convenient for them. We can't just leave them here. Outside the stadium, they have no food or shelter. They'll suffer sunstroke in no time. How are you going to handle this? Desert Flannel. Do you still have those fake tickets? Yeah, why? Sell them. Excuse me? I thought you knew that I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it for... I know why you need money. 
You have always wanted to buy the house where your grandmother spent her life and raised you. It's important to you, just like the Uluru games to me and Uluru. Ezra, Verdon, please contact the Foundation for help. Desert Flannel, I need you to prepare to guide the crowd and maintain order. Pathetia, are you not planning to... Let's go all out, mates. I am going. and calling them the Pioneer Peacemakers. In the name of the Uluru Flame, I swear it's not a lie. Of course, of course. You are not lying. You never lie. No lies have been spoken. Every word was true. A junior student from Melbourne, an old soul, a reincarnator. What's her attitude and what will she do? Please, find out with me! considered mankind's safety, technology, assistance, or rights. Arcanus, Arcanus, that's all she's talking about. It's the voice of... the priestess. How... how could she say that? Nonsense. It is the first Uluru Games with the help of Laplace Human Technology. They've been talking about equality, peace, and love all the time. Damn you! How could you be so despicable? All the constructions are built by Laplace. These are all human contributions. I'm out of here. It's not the Uluru Games. Not the one I heard from my grandma at all. We should believe that. She's an honest girl. She would never have lied. Miss Spathodea, did you really say that? it up, conquer it, and make it burn. 
I will. I know what my duty is. I'm here for a warm tooth. Silence. Huh. An experienced adult is coming to your aid. Very well. The enemies don't seem to be in the habit of wearing gas masks. I, priestess of the Uluru Games, and my friend, the Uluru Flame, both of us stand right here. We will not tell a lie or evade any questions. That's right. We stand right here. It's time we put an end to all these slanders, Mr. Makawa. Everyone has their own direction. Anyone feeling cold? Seeing stars? Ha! An eye for an eye. That's your command. This is supposed to be an unforgivable felony, yet you are still standing here. Did you bribe the officers to get away, Miss Spapadia? First, please be careful of your wording, Mr. Makawa. That was not arson. It was an accident caused by the instability of my arcane skill. It was awakening at the time, and things like this happen to most arcanists. Second, we didn't cause any injuries or burn the hospital. Only a clinic was slightly burnt in the accident. We have paid for the damage already. Besides, the Revival Squad has promised they will do volunteer work for the hospital every Saturday afternoon as an apology. Good for you.
everyone has their own destination. That hurts, huh? Ah, it's illegal. Gotta calm down. The bunny was weakened. Now go for it, Sunny. A tooth for a tooth. Just in song. Come on, this is the one punch. All right, deep breath in. Noble or lowly. Step it up, everyone. Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. An eye for an eye. All right, deep breath in. Nice tactic. Just as planned. <laughs> Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. See, stars. Umbrella and the Everyone here is exhausted from the journey to the desert. We're suffering from the heat and the thirst. So why don't you open this gate for us? Is your golden gate too good for the tickets we paid for? Are you shutting us out? Tickets you paid for? Are you sure the Uluru Games has ever sold any tickets? Guys, please check your tickets and compare them to each other's. I believe they have different sizes, textures and printing methods, which indicate they come from different producers. That's right. If you know the local gangs well, now you should realize the staff who brought you here and those marshalling the crowds include some familiar faces. They are Tommy, Jackson, and Cameron. Gangsters from the Eucalyptus Brotherhood who made their first pot of gold by selling fake tickets. And you, Mr. Makawa, speak for them. A brave decision. An eye for an eye. Just in sign. Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins in full. Hold on to that. The law is above all else. <laughs> Please, hold your breath. At your command. That's right! Nice tactic! Just take it as a trip to London. Everyone has their own Huh, like a light -up. That hurts, huh? Tooth for a tooth. Just in song. An eye for an eye. That's right! Cheer up. Feel it, pay, and know with regret. Hey! It's illegal. I'm not careless.
A tooth for a tooth. Are we gonna do this with gloves off? Brilliant. Noble or lowly, sin shall be punished. All right, deep breath in. A tooth Please. for a tooth. Hold your breath. Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins in full. Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. Just take it as a trip to London. Oh, good food. Brave decision. The law is above all Everyone else. Everyone has their own destination. Ha ha! Boom! Hoo hoo! That's right! All right, deep breath in. Nice tactic. Just inside. <laughs> Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. For a tooth. At your command. Come on, this is the one punch. The law is above all Everyone else. Everyone has their own destination. Cheer and witness my victory! It's illegal. Off thou go. Are we gonna do this with gloves off? Just as planned. A tooth for a tooth, thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins in full. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hold your breath. <laughs> Breath in. Huh, like a light up. Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. Cheer up. Oh. Aha. Oh. Anyone feeling cold? That hurts, huh? No. No way. Darn it. Well, yeah, you got a silver tongue. Your words are indeed clear, logical, and reasonable. But how are you going to deny what you said in the photos? You wanted no humans in the stadium, and you held a grudge and a prejudice against them. There is no doubt that those words came out of your mouth. Your eloquence won't change the fact. Yes, the fact. 
The fact that is 100% true. You can't deny it. A fair game. You were right, Mr. Makura. I did say that. I take responsibility for every word heard in that photo. But people, listen to me! Those words are wrong. So am I. I am a fool. An idiot. The stinkiest rotten egg in the kitchen. I've seen countless humans on my way here. From Melbourne to Alice Springs. And then Uluru. I've met the construction team from Laplace. The receptionist at City Hall. Considerate doctors and... My first human friend. My good friend. In the past, I saw humans as the other kind. I thought they were unreasonable, cruel people who deceive others with bureaucratic jargon. But now, when I think of humans, I am reminded of... of... of my friend. My gentle, brave, smart, selfless, clumsy human friend. What are you going to... Confront it. Light it up. Conquer it. And make it burn for you. I do. I must apologize for being an idiot with such a narrow view. I'm sorry. Now, I hope everyone can enjoy pure sports and have fun sweating. Those of you who have tickets, please enter the stadium in order. Those of you with no tickets, you can buy one from Miss Desert Flannel for just one dollar. I hereby declare of the Uluru Games! Everyone is welcome! Damn it! How come? The source has confirmed the reef between them. Run! If I'm fast enough, there's still a chance. Or maybe you don't deserve that chance at all. We've got a helping hand. More than one hand. Aha! This is what we call the hammer of justice. Take that, you little long-tongued pig. I will pull your tongue out through one of your eye sockets. You should have known better than to mess with me. Dance back to the games. 
It is a bit dangerous, but we can always have plenty of frogs by the field. Huh, there you are. Come check out my new proposal. Well, the chair is in the middle of the room. Please, take a seat. Maybe... Maybe we can bring fire dance back to the games. It is a bit dangerous, but we can always have plenty of frogs by the field. Huh. There you are! Come check out my new proposal! on the ground. In the future, I will be dashing in the sky.
The audience are all seated. No stampede or jostle, not to mention injury. All the human athletes have registered, and their mixed sporting events with the arcanist athletes have been properly planned and are ready to start in three days. <sighs> I'm done. I can't even move a finger right now. <sighs> Come on, Flammy. It's our turn. <sighs> Together we walk on this glorious path. Together, Ulu. Run. Get yourself running, child. Light up the Uluru torch, as you were promised. As. I have promised. I am running. Even though the day I last ran here was a thousand years ago. It feels just like yesterday to me. I ran across the long track. Stepping on the burning red soil. I am sweaty, like a sparkling star. I am going to the top of the stadium to light up the torch. Uh, uh. Have I grown up as you wish? Am I new and different now? Just a moment of my life, but I know you've waited a million days and nights for it. I want you to be proud. I want you to be happy. My friend, my dear friend. You are already my flammy, but you are actually more than that. You are also my spathidia, my little girl. You have grown up as I have dreamt of countless times. The snakes who didn't lay a single tooth on you. Both your body and mind are intact. Hey, what's that? The earlier flame is dropping water. Are here with us 
or following the event through radio, TV or internet. I invite you to witness the blazing of the Uluru Torch. She is Uluru, the noble spirit of peace, hard work and competition. In the past thousands of years, the Holy Fire has been to the highest mountain and touched the rocks in the deepest sea, taking the peace and all of the noble qualities to every corner of this world. It was also brought out of this world into space by rockets and traveled among the stars, from ships to spaceships, from one hand to another. It has journeyed far. And now, for the first time, the torch to be lit has come to the flame. The flame is burning in the joint hands of human and Arcanus. We hereby swear we shall forget the hatred, conflict, turbulence and chaos of the past. We shall write in the name of swordsmanship. We shall walk in the original form of men. We shall compete against each other, not for victory, but for participation. So, did Miss Desert Funnel go to the hospital to visit Mr. Makua? Yeah, she bought all the magazines with that photo and brought them to... Oh, wait. I guess you don't know the story between Desert Funnel and Makua. No idea. I was in my room pondering what happened that day. No, don't look at me like that! I've told you I'll never repeat that story again. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter if I never had the chance of hearing it. It's just a story. Fine, I will. I will tell it to you. Come over here, kid. You were so kind. You must all know that I have many jobs. These part-time jobs eat away most of my time, but the clients who gave me these jobs never let me go home empty-handed. If you were me, you'd know that if you are willing enough to take as many jobs as possible, you'd meet some strange clients. <laughs> like going to a school day pretending to be someone's mom, or braiding the hair of a punk hound in 302 pigtails for a blind man. Waiting for a rare bird at midnight, carrying a camera which was expensive enough to pay for my apartment. I know. Sometimes my colleagues in the class would also hire others to help collect information they need. But if we have the time, most of us would prefer to take a walk in the forest and try our luck. Yes, that's exactly what my client said. He paid me well for the job. So generous that I stared at the dark and waited for that pink torch hummingbird to show up, despite my bloodshot eyes. One day, two days, and three days passed. I didn't even see anything like it. But I saw a wonder beast, just as extraordinary as the hummingbird. Pink glittering platypus. Pink glittering 
platypus? It's pink and it's glittering. And who knows whether Pink Torch Hummingbird is a strange nickname for that platypus. Of course I have to take a picture of it. But you know, a bird lover won't need a picture of a platypus. So I sold it to Kidding Fun, a children's magazine. What happened next should be very evident to you, if you read enough bad novels. Is... is that... Yes, that's right. That platypus was Makua who took the transformation potion. Ah, but why would he do that? Mm, perhaps he was looking for some fun or maybe it was an accident? Anyway, according to him, someone pulled out a prank on him and it was definitely not his own choosing. <laughs> he quit his job the moment that picture was published. He left his friends and family and became a revenger, striving to put me into a miserable situation just like what he has gone through. So this time, after I made this fortune, I bought the apartment and every copy of that issue of the magazine. Were you planning to sell them all to Mr. Makawa? No, of course not. Who do you think I am? I picked him up at the hospital, took him somewhere quiet and burnt all the magazines in front of him. He was, oh my gosh, crying so loud. <laughs> that was pleasant to hear. Desert Flannel, Miss Babadia, and Mr. Ezra, the interview is ready to start. Please follow me to the stage. Ah, uh, yes, in a minute. Did you get the ending of the story? No, not really. <gasps> so there is something neither arcanists nor humans can understand. Perhaps we can ask Verton later. She's a bit older than us, but she's not here today. I think she went to the stadium with Miss Ulu. Hmm. The gold swallowing crowd, the apocalyptic hedonism, and the adventure on the island of numbers. So this is what the world has become when I was in slumber for all these years. I have experienced countless rains and have even seen the rainbow above Uluru, but I've never seen anything like the storm. I can't believe it just changed everything so easily. But the Uluru Stadium is still here. I know there are spots with mysterious power in this world. They can provide a slim chance of survival in the storm. And the stadium is exactly one of them. Such a place will be desired by different forces one day. It's just a matter of time. Like the men as Vindicte you talked about. To them, the Aluru Stadium is like a piece of meat to a hungry wolf. That's right. The Foundation has already launched the Allure Guarding Project. It will be a long-term mission and involves a heavy workload, and the Australia branch doesn't have enough manpower for it. Fortunately, a lot of people went to the visitor window of the branch. They are worried about the stadium? Yes, a lot. They volunteered to station here to protect it even at the cost of their own time and effort. They have built the Aluru Guardians, which consist of 31 Arcanists and 29 humans. There are doctors, writers, taxi drivers, newsstand owners, and so on. And they are all among the audience of the games. <laughs> you made it, child. This is indeed a brand new beginning.
that's why I want to keep it here. We shall run in the name of sportsmanship. We shall walk in the original form of men. We shall compete against each other, not for victory, but for participation. By both human and arcanist. No matter how many times the storm reshapes the world from top to bottom, no matter how the times or the lifestyle change, no matter how ignorant people become, whenever they open the gate to the Aluru Stadium again, they will remember the spirit and faith things will change in the conveying. unstoppable river of time. Yet the Aluru Stadium shall remain forever.